Cell biology is a fascinating field of study that focuses on understanding the structure, function, and processes that occur within cells. In particular, this script will delve into various topics within cell biology that are relevant to medical students. These topics include chloroplast biogenesis, vacuolar trafficking, plasmodsmata, secondary cell wall formation, calcium signaling, plant hormones, nitrogen fixation, plastid development, cell polarity in plants, cell cycle regulation, signaling in plant defense, and plastid nuclear communication. Each topic will be explored in detail, providing a comprehensive understanding of the processes involved. So, let's dive into this extraordinary world of cellular biology and uncover the intricate mechanisms within. Chloroplasts are organelles in plant cells responsible for photosynthesis. Chloroplast biogenesis involves coordination between the nucleus, chloroplasts, and other cell components. It begins with gene expression and protein synthesis in the cytoplasm, followed by protein import into developing chloroplasts. Flacoid membrane formation is crucial for chloroplast biogenesis and involves membrane protein incorporation and lipid synthesis. Overall, chloroplast biogenesis is a complex process ensuring functional chloroplast formation. Plant cells contain membrane-bound organelles called vacuoles that are crucial for various cellular processes. Vacuolar trafficking involves the movement of proteins, lipids, and other molecules to and from the vacuole. This process relies on vesicles, membrane fusion, and sorting mechanisms. Protein transport to the vacuole starts in the endoplasmic reticulum, then proceeds through the Golgi apparatus, endosomes, and finally reaches the vacuole. Sorting signals and specific proteins are involved in this process. Once vesicles reach the vacuole, they merge with its membrane, delivering their cargo. Vacuolar trafficking is vital for maintaining vacuole function and regulating processes like storage, degradation, and defense. Plasmodsmata are channels that connect plant cells, allowing communication and transport of molecules. They play a crucial role in coordinating cell activities. Plasmodsmata consist of a central tube surrounded by a membrane, allowing exchange of small molecules and macromolecules between cells. These channels are important for plant development, response to environment, and defense mechanisms. The cell wall surrounds plant cells, providing support and protection. Some plant cells have a secondary cell wall inside the primary cell wall, adding strength. Formation occurs during cell growth and involves complex processes and materials like lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. Regulation involves enzymes and factors. Understanding secondary cell wall formation is important for improving biofuel production and resistance to pathogens. Calcium ions, Ka2+, act as secondary messengers, regulating cell processes in plants. Intracellular compartments store calcium ions, which can quickly move to the cytoplasm upon stimulation. Calcium binding proteins sense the increase and initiate signaling events, influencing protein kinases, ion channels, and gene expression. Understanding calcium signaling is crucial to grasp plant responses to stimuli. Plant hormones, or phytohormones, regulate plant growth and responses to the environment. They include auxins, cytokinins, gibberellins, abscisic acid, ethylene, and brassinosteroids, each with distinct roles. For example, auxins control cell expansion, cytokinins promote cell division, and gibberellins regulate stem elongation. Understanding these hormones is crucial for improving crop yields. Nitrogen is essential for plant growth. Nitrogen fixation is the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia in plant cells. Bacteria in nodules on plant roots convert nitrogen into ammonia, which is used by plants to make amino acids and other compounds. This process is important for agriculture and crop development. In this section, we will explore the development of plastids in plant cells. Plastids are vital organelles with various functions, such as photosynthesis and storage. Their development involves the coordination of genes and processes that lead to the production of proteins and lipids. Plastids can differentiate into different types depending on their role in the cell. This development includes changes in shape, pigment production, membrane formation, and the assembly of photosynthetic structures. The regulation of plastid development is complex, involving environmental signals, metabolic cues, and developmental pathways. Understanding plastid development is crucial for comprehending plant cell mechanisms and optimizing plant-based product production. Cell polarity refers to how cellular components are asymmetrically distributed in cells, leading to specialized structures. In plants, it's important for cell elongation, tissue differentiation, and organ development. Proteins and lipids are localized to specific regions of the cell, directing growth. Cytoskeletal elements, vesicles, and signaling pathways regulate cell polarity. Disruption can cause defects. The cell cycle is a series of events in plant cells that leads to growth, DNA replication, and cell division. 
Checkpoints throughout the cycle ensure proper DNA replication and division. Cyclins and CDKs control the transitions between cell cycle phases. Signaling pathways and hormones also play a role in controlling the cycle. Disruptions in cell cycle regulation can cause abnormal cell division and health issues. Plants have a powerful immune system that protects them from pathogens and pests. Signaling pathways coordinate plant defense responses, triggered by pathogen-associated, PAMPs, or damage-associated, DAMPs, molecular patterns. These pathways involve the recognition of pathogen-derived molecules by plant receptors, activating defense responses such as antimicrobial compound release, cell wall strengthening, programmed cell death, and systemic acquired resistance. The complexity of plant defense signaling, regulated by protein kinases, phosphatases, and transcription factors, must be understood to improve crop yield and food security. In the video, we will explore the communication between plastids and the nucleus in plant cells. Plastids and the nucleus need to communicate to coordinate important cellular processes. Plastids release signals that influence nuclear genes, while the nucleus can also send signals to regulate plastid activities. This communication involves complex pathways and interactions. Understanding this process is important for plant growth and development. In conclusion, medical students have explored a variety of topics in cell biology, including chloroplast biogenesis, vacuole or trafficking, plasmodsmata, and more. Delving into these areas provides a deeper understanding of plant cell processes and their relevance to human health and medical advancements.